Hey YouTube, we're changing up this front end by adding upper stanchion covers, fork gaiters, and a chopped fender by SW Motec. First thing is to get your front end off the ground and make sure it's stable. Start by taking off brake calipers, two bolts each side, plus this ABS sensor. I'm flashing up the size and torque specs for all these bolts. Carefully hang your calipers up to the side to get them out of your workspace. On the right side, be careful to remember the configuration of this lovely arrangement of brackets and cables. You'll want to know how to get this on with the SW Motec fender mounts. There's a pinch bolt on the right side that needs to come out before you remove the front axle. Then loosen your axle, making sure your bike is stable. When you're taking out the axle, make sure you block the wheel or just hold it really steady so the axle slides out easily. What I haven't shown is the removal of the stock fender, which is pretty straightforward. Now we need to get the forks off. There are four bolts on each side that loosen the clamps holding the forks. Take a picture of how high the forks extend beyond the top bracket. You want to get it back exactly the same when you put it back together. Loosen up the bolts, but not fully until you're ready to guide the fork out of the clamps. Then slide it out carefully so you don't damage the stanchions. Now we want to get the fork guards off. I've seen a couple of videos saying you could pry these off with a hammer and screwdriver or heat them up or whatever, but the best advice I found is just to cut them because there are grooves on the inside that line up with the groove on the fork that make it very hard to try to slide them off. Start a cut with a razor knife, just go slowly, cutting a bit deeper each time. This video makes it look easy, but it's not. Clean up those stanchions because they're probably really dirty and you're about to cover them with the fork gaiters. Check the fit of your gaiters. Mine fit very well. I did a lot of research on the top and bottom diameters and it worked out. I'm installing top stanchion covers from the 2018 FZ07 that I got from Revzilla. You also need a rubber o-ring that makes it fit tight and a set plug. Check Partzilla for their parts diagram under the steering section of their parts breakdown. You're going to slide the fork slightly through the bottom clamp and put on your o-ring. Then get the fork cover situated between the bottom and top clamps and slide the fork through. I used a little tri-flow lube because it's not as easy as that looked. Refer to the picture you took to get them set in the right position. Put your bolts back and tighten them to spec and then you're done. I chose to put my wheel back on before installing the fender so I'd have a reference for the fit over the tire. Make sure you get your spacer bushings back on both sides of your wheel hub before putting your wheel back on. Tighten your axle, tighten it to spec, don't forget the pinch bolt. Then you can put your brake calipers back on and also tighten those to the torque specs. For the SW Motec fender you will need to pull the cable bracket off the stock fender. Just pinch the underside of the bracket together and it will slide out. Install the SW Motec brackets. The hardest part is getting this assembly back on with the new brackets. Tighten these down to seven foot pounds. These need to be solid. They are replacing the stock bracket that was a solid piece. It keeps your front end stable. Getting the cable bracket onto the SW Motec Friender requires that you drill a hole. Use the provided template to get it in the right spot and make sure you put the hole in the back end of the fender. Slide the fender in, get your cables in the bracket and make sure all the holes for the bolts line up and that your fender is sitting in the correct alignment over the tire. I got the bolts all in loosely and then I backed them out and added Loctite before torquing them down.
clean up any messy residue and I'll note that after having this fender on for a while the paint on the SW Motec fender does not stand up to weather very well. Uh, you may want to add some kind of protectant or repaint it. I haven't figured that out yet. Get the top fork covers aligned so the set plugs can be tapped in. Yeah, and don't forget that pinch bolt. Thanks for watching. I hope you will like and subscribe. Have fun out there and ride safe. Thank you.